cuties i'm lanikia and you're watching what happened on the soaps this is general hospital edition today is tuesday april the 11th 2023 on a scale of one to ten honestly i've been giving these nines but these have been the some of the best episodes of general hospital um so i just couldn't continue to give a nine because i feel like we have some 10 episodes coming whenever they bust victor hopefully all right so we see michael willow drew and carly we pick up where we left off where they're like what are you doing here and they say willow we have to give you this news um and it is that we can't find Liesl. And, you know, she went missing and the evidence shows that she didn't go willingly. And so Michael, they were like, but it, it, it could not be that. And Michael said, no, she would never leave her family. She would never not finish that um, act with her children. So someone had to have taken her. And they're, you know, they're like, we could take the kids so y'all can, you know, process this. And Willow is just like, oh my gosh, Maxie and Nina must be worried out of their minds right now. And so they were like, oh, you're, Carly is like, you know, you're, you're always thinking about other people. We can take the kids so y'all can process all of this. We can, you know, we can do whatever you need to support you. And she's just like, no, she wants the kids to be there. And they tell her, you know, continue to get your rest because as soon as we find Liesl, we're going to do the bone marrow transplant. And so uh, she ends up leaving, right? They, She and Drew end up leaving. And then Drew and Carly, I said, can we take, get a break? They, well, I guess they were like, we have been giving you breaks. Okay. So Drew and Carly are there, right? And they are, um, they are there and they're um, talking and they wish that they could do something. I said, Drew, you can do something. You could go and help. <laughs> like, I thought you said you were going to help bring Victor down, but like you sitting up here trying to kiss on Carly and stuff. You need to get your butt over to that hospital and everything, or at least go over there to Sunny to find out what's going on. You know, you trying to kiss Carly. And she like, we can't, somebody might see or something. I don't, I used to, I don't care. Me either. So then we go over here to Michael and Willow and he's just like, whatever you need, like if you have resentment, if you have anger, if you're frustrated, if you're sad, if you're worried, what, what, whatever you need, you know, I will be here for you. Now they did let him know that Sonny was on it, like as far as looking for Liesl. So that makes them feel better. And she said she just wants some hot cocoa. And then, baby, when Michael left the room, Willow hit the floor and started crying because, like, it's devastating. She wanted, she was so close to living. And Michael comes back and sees her and he's like, Willow. And she said, I was so close. I was so close to having this, my life saved. And now it's up in the air again. And like, that's an emotional roller coaster. Now, Willow is not my favorite, but what, what y'all doing to this character? <laughs> what are y'all doing? So then we go over here and we see um, Dante, Jordan, Esme, and and um, Laura, and they're all talking about about the baby, and you know they're gonna do everything that they can in their power to um, find out who, you know what they're gonna do everything in their power to find the baby. They know Victor took it. Esme confirmed that that was the man because they showed her the picture. She confirmed, oh yeah, that's the man that was struggling with me. So. Laura lets Esme know that Victor Cassidy took the baby. And, you know, Esme, understandably, is just like, I'm getting up out of poor Charles because, oh, my God. Because, you know, she thought it was Nicholas and all that. And she was like, um, Laura keeps trying to reach, reach Spencer. And she said, what if he was in on it? And Laura, that's Esme to Laura. And Laura says Spencer wasn't in on this baby because, you know, he might have wanted Ace but not this way. He wouldn't have done it this way. I'm afraid that he's been abducted by Victor as well. So again, Esme is just like, oh, I got to go. I got to get up out of town. This is scary. Um, I knew something was wrong with Victor. I could just feel it. He came off so smooth and, and, and like a gentleman and nice, but I knew it was something that wasn't right about him. And Laura just tells her, we're not going to run. I know it's hard because as a mom, you're just like, you want to do things to help your children, but it's, it's okay. What we're going to do is, um, I'm going to, I promise you that we're going to find baby Ace, right? So then Robert, um, Dante and Jordan are talking, right? And they're trying to figure out everything that's going on. So they, they, they've come to the conclusion. Okay. 
So he has the he shot Anna. He probably has uh this baby. They tell and they're telling him he has the baby. Um, they tell him that Liesel is missing, and they say, well, if Liesel's, Liesel's missing, he's obsessed with her. This isn't the first time he tried to take her, so now they're realizing, okay, he's in on it. Or what? It's all Victor. He he's orchestrated all this, but they're scared because they like he getting real clumsy and dangerous. Like he don't give a care. So where is he? So then Diane comes and she speaks to Robert and he was like, what you doing here? And she said, I came for you because I know you were close to Anna and I came to check on you. So she's trying to uh, distract him from everything. But at that moment, um, she gets a phone call as he's talking about, you know, his favorite place to be. She's just, just, just distract him. I like these two together. And uh, she gets a phone call from Sonny, right? So then we see... Um, Nina and Scott, because Nina has called Scott and told him to get down to the Metro court, you know, and so he goes down and everything, and um, he's like, what's going on? And she tells him that Liesl's missing, and he says, what's like, he?" and he's just like, well, what happened to her? And so she's explaining everything that happened, and he's like, I, dang, if I had just, if I had been here if we weren't weren't on bad terms i could have saw this coming so then sunny comes up and he tells him that they have their people on them um and they're looking and then they can come to the conclusion that because scott said if if all this has happened like lucy and all this happened then the only person that would be behind this is victor cassidy and they start thinking about it and they're like oh snap it probably was victor behind all of this because you know he's obsessed with Liesel. So then um, Nina talks to Sonny and he tells her that he's going to go all out as far as finding someone, finding Liesl, not to worry about it. You know, he's going to use all his resources and that brick, listen, I'm like, Scott, I don't know all the techni technicalities and everything you're saying, but just find Liesl. He said brick, you know, is you know, working on her her tracker, her fitness tracker, her phones, her iPads, they're working on all her technology. Um to try to find her you know so they were like okay and so that leaves nina and um nina and scott to talk so when nina and scott talk he she just they're comforting each other he's you know because she's devastated about sunny not letting her in on everything that's going on um because maybe she could have put this two to two and two together earlier um and he tells her you know i know your aunt's missing and then this you know your daughter is this complicates that with her surgery and she said yes but you know we have to find aunt liesel to get this all done um and she she just lets him know that actually i should be the one you know telling willow that we're gonna do everything we need to do and honestly i think it, it this is one of the moments where nina should step in with willow i think because she can't like even willow telling michael go in the kitchen just so she can have her mini breakdown like she can't she always has to be a certain way around michael and the family that with nina she don't have to be like that she don't like me you know what i mean she doesn't like nina so she can be she could lash out or be angry you know what i mean so and nina would take it because she'd be like at least i got something from her you know so um that's it with them y'all so then we go over here to diane and sunny so diane is talking um to sunny and he tells her listen i need you to get down because he tells her you know i he had called her on the phone and so she meets with him at the hospital he tells her i need you to go down there the man who tried to ki um kill lucy um, I need you to be his lawyer. And she said, what? And he said, because he got information. And she said, but how, but Lloyd, Victor probably already has him lawyered up. And he said, no, he didn't complete his mission. So Victor probably left him out to dry. So what I need you to do is get that information from him and let him know he could trust you. And she's like, all right, I'm on it. So then she tells, um, so Robert has went down to the courthouse because he wants to investigate the man, right? So he's in there with him and Diane comes in and she's like, I'm his lawyer, I'm representation. And he said, excuse me, girl, what? And she said, the way you told me to trust you at the Metro Court at the hotel, I'm going to need you to trust me. And he said, okay. So he lets her go in with her client. That's all at the police station. So then we see Sonny, Jordan, and um, um, 
Dante talking, right? And they're all just updated on information they found out that Liesel is missing. They believe it has something to do with Victor. Um, they Ace, baby Ace is missing. Um, they were he was trying to get to Lucy. He shot Anna, so they said Victor is planning something. We need to find him and then we can get this all together. And so then Laura comes out and she lets Sonny know that she thinks Spencer is missing as well. They're not able to find him. And he says, dang it. He was like, um, Laura, I want you to know I'm on this. I got this. I'm going to be looking, you know, I, I'm all over this. And she's like, okay. Because, you know, at the end of the day, that's why some people don't like Sonny and some people do. Because at the end of the day, sometimes they be needing his <laughs> They be needing his help. <laughs> you know, because that man wasn't about to tell those lawyers anything. So Laura goes back into Esme and she tells her, okay, I spoke to the doctors. They said, you can go home tomorrow. And Esme is like, she didn't know she really wanted to because she's scared. And she told her, listen, I love the way you fought. Like I saw the house. So I know you fought for your baby and Ambrose is a big boy. She said, so I know you fought for your baby. And I like that. And she said, I know, I, you know, I know about how old Esme was, but I truly love Ace and I just want my son back. And she said, I promise you two things. We're going to bring Ace home and I'm going to make Victor Castellan. Victor Castellan is going to punish for what he's done. And Esme said, you going to find Spencer too? And she said, yes, I'm going to find Spencer. And she said, okay, then I'm going to go home. I said, all right, then you bring it up Spencer, but okay, let's move on. Um, So then Diane calls Sonny, right? Because she's just finished with her client. And Robert said, what did he say? And she said, I got the information. So she letting him listen as she talked to Sonny. And then Sonny um, is letting Jordan and Dante hear as he talks to Diane. Well, they're not on the, they don't have them on speaker, but they can hear their side of a conversation, right? So she tells Sonny, I got the information and it looks like he was after Lucy. And um, after he was, going to be done with Lucy he was supposed to go on this voyage with Victor and he said what voyage and so that's when she lets him know so the man probably hadn't told him about the hunted store because he was supposed to go there as well right so now they have this information so then we go over here to Spencer and Victor and Spencer said let me go <laughs> let me like i'll stay but he said listen i'll stay with you if you let ace go he's like no i can't do that and he said uncle victor i need to be in port charles like you can't make me not want to be there and i said victor you can't stay on the hundred store forever what is your plan what is going on like if y'all would just give us a little more of a hint at what victor needs with the ice print you know what i'm saying but he said i don't you know uncle victor you can't do this like, I will find a way to get out of here. You can't do this. He said, well, I got your um, baby brother, and I know as long as I have him, you're going to stay. And so he tells Ambrose to go ahead and take Vic, I mean, Spencer to his room because he done talking or whatever. And so Spencer goes, and then they bring Liesl out. Now, they still don't know Trina is on the hunt star, right? And so Liesl is talking to Victor. And she was like, what are you, what you got me here for? I told you, I don't want you, sir. How many times can somebody say it? And he says, oh, that's not what you're here for, whatever. And so as she's talking to Victor, she sees Trina. But she realized Trina is hiding. And they look back to see what Liesl was looking at. And she distracts them, right? Cause she tells Victor, you know, you know how I feel about you. And she starts trying to choke on Victor to give Trina a chance to escape. And so Victor's all like, oh, my bad. So Victor, uh, she gives Trina a chance to escape. So then Liesl continues to talk to Victor when his man grabs her and stops her. And she says, what do you want with me? Uh, you know, I, I don't want you, Victor. There's nothing that you can do to, for me. And he, she, he said, so you going to make this easy or you going to make this hard, Liesl? Because this could all be simple. You could just do what you're told and we could all work this out. And she said, hard. And he said, back, back in the day, they used to make my loins. I said, Victor, we know your loins do not work. You need to stop it. But anyways, child, she just tells him, what do you want from me? And he's telling her that he has a mission and a plan um, and she's going to be part of it. And he wants her um, he wants her skill set. I don't know if the Ice Princess has something to do 
with medicine or medical it sounded a, a lot a little bit days of our lives ish <laughs> live ish you know it sounded like megan hathaway with the serum and all that but we're gonna see y'all and so he sends her to her room so then we see trina goes over to spencer when lisa allows her to escape now they have spencer dead bolted in right he said am i a prisoner like y'all got me dead bolted in he said and ambrose tells him your uncle told us to do that but trina unlocks the dead bolt and she goes in with spencer now he had had a bottle he was about to knock ambrose out and trina um comes in and he's like trina what you doing here she said i knew you were in trouble so i followed you and he was like oh gosh and she was like we got to get out of here because your uncle crazy and he got lisa on here too and he was like what he cool what he got her for and she said i don't know but we got to get out of here and he says i can't i can't leave baby ace and she said um we could go and get some help i don't you know the boat is moving and she said I, maybe i could float somewhere and he said no trina and so she's like, okay, so what we're going to do is I'm off trying to find us ex an escape out. And then you stay here and I'm going to come back. And he said, Trina, I, I love that you're so brave, but no, this is too dangerous. And she said, we got to do what we got to do. So she's ready to go, right? And then we see that... Um, as she's getting re she's ready to go right and then we see that he's just like no trina i can't let you do this and she says i have to i they don't know i'm on this boat so i can move around without being detected or whatever you can't come with me no one else can help me we i gotta find out where ace is so we can try to get him and everything and so he finally gives in and tells her just be careful and she's like i will be and y'all that was general hospital today don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel a share the video and i will see you tomorrow for an all new episode of what happened on the soaps general hospital edition i'm done with the review honestly that general hospital has been really good lately it's been like super it's been really good and um i like the fact that they're finally coming to the end with this storyline with victor i just wish they would move it a little faster and everything let me go because i hear the people out you know how the people outside are blowing leaves and mowing and stuff but anyways guys thank you so much for watching um and i will see you tomorrow for our new episode goodbye